Okay, YouTube, we're going to talk about Jay-Z's Blueprint 3. Now, with this album, the thing about Jay-Z is he has... He's one of the largest rappers in the game right now. But the thing about that is, is to me, that's not necessarily the most important thing. Now, money is a concern for one thing, but music and money are two different things and that's the one thing to remember that's one thing i noticed so with this obviously you're getting the best of both worlds because jay-z has made over 10 albums by that point and he's brought us a lot of good things he's a lyricist and he's made some really sick songs so I mean, the only thing is, he's kind of on my backlog. I mean, it's been... I haven't listened to him as much, but I still know enough to know the good from the bad. And that's kind of the thing, is you pay attention to this album. This is one of his most gigantic albums, mainly because of songs like Empire State of Mind, Run This Town, and Death of Autotune. But... At the same time, it is a really makeshift rap album. And the reason why I wanted to review it is to kind of set a fishnet out to catch all these people who are going to come for this album. And then, you know, once they do, look for something else to find on the channel. Now, whole thing is, like I was saying, makeshift rap, which basically means a lot of this music has the mindset of just trying to get you to maintain. You may have a job, just trying to get through the day, not really thinking about any tomorrow, the next day, anything but just right now and what you're currently doing. Now, the only problem with that I'm not so much saying that the lyrics are gonna, you know, the lyrics are gonna support what I just said, but the feel of the music and the way that the music, it, the melt, the music, the production is more so than what is being said. I mean, a lot of it is, a lot of it just feels more like a watered down album. So Busta Rhymes, a little bit more vicious. Snoop Dogg, a lot more vicious. Eminem, probably more hardened, but also he's a little bit more brazen than Jay-Z. So, you know, those are just a few. Dr. Dre, he kind of still feels like a loose cannon. And, you know, any further than that, you just have to look at some of these. But... It, it just it's really tight knit that's the thing is when you pay attention to it you know you get the lyricism but you kind of want jay-z to unwind more than he does which makes me wonder you know if the business aspect of it so when you approach that lifestyle that you have less room to breathe because that's what it feels like on this project and you know <laughs> it's not it's not so much that yeah, I mean, that that, basic, that basically explains it. So the songs that you need to hear, just judging from it. Now, obviously, songs like Reminder and Hate and Venus vs. Mars. You know, some of these have some different styles to them, but I, I, they, they just lack something, you know. It's the whole thing is compared to a song like On to the Next One. I, I don't really know what sort of momentum Jay-Z was going for on the song. But, yeah, on to the next one and off that are both the best songs on here. These are two songs that sound really thunderous. So these are something to look forward to. These are not songs that are makeshift rap. These are actually songs that I'd expect from... I can't really even think of a rapper who, you know, is business oriented, but could make a song like this. So that's kind of the thing is it, it's pretty powerful, but thing is, you know, there's only two songs like this. So the other two songs out, out of 15 that I like, there are four songs total. 
were so ambitious and run this town. Now, a lot of this, you know, it sounds just from the, the sort of what he's saying, you know, empire state of mind, so ambitious, run this town on to the next one. Some of these are powerful themes. That's kind of what I'm getting at here is, you know, it's called the blueprint and it's, you know, that's the thing is, is dealing with that. So I was trying to think of how to sum up correctly. I don't want to be negative because it's not so much, I don't have a problem with blueprints, you know, really blueprint to, you know, making food, bring it on, you know, that's the whole thing. But unfortunately, you know, music does have, you know, I like when music excites me and I don't want to say, I like when music makes me want to get up and do something so that's kind of the thing is this you know me wanting that more but so i'm gonna give this album a th three out of ten and really the only thing left is that the social score will get like a five and a half out of ten that just means how well, it plays around you and your friends if you listen to this music with them. It's got a lot of singles, a lot of songs that were heard. Jay-Z's a, a big name, and there's big guests on here, so there's lots of reasons to like it. Uh, can this record be topped? Yes, it can by a landslide. I still feel like even if Jay-Z is richer than Tech 9 Tech 9 has probably made some better albums than this. Yellow Wolf, same thing. Um, Buster Rhymes, same thing. You know, this that sort of thing. But I do understand that this is probably going to be the album that, of course, receives more attention. This is the album that's going to go platinum and triple platinum and that sort of thing. But, you know, uh, you just have to not fall prey. That's the biggest thing that I can say is just not to fall prey to well, everyone I know is on this album, so it must be good. Well, huh. there's, you know, 50 other rap albums out there that could give this album competition. And as long as you remember that, you're golden.